I can't believe I'm, I'm actually like saying this um, for Vogue.com, but for my for my birthday, I asked for two chickens, and they arrived today. Uh, I've got them a hutch in my garden, and uh, I'm really excited about them. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to name them. I want to kind of like name them like Ralph and Lauren. <laughs> We are in the Parkland Hotel in Mayfair in London. Tomorrow is my 21st birthday. It's amazing doing the Vogue cover on the eve of my 21st. It kind of feels quite poignant in a way. This is not my first time that I shoot Emma. I've seen her go from a young girl to a woman. And I think it's the perfect time for her to be in Vogue. I, I think I'm a bit overwhelmed. It's a massive deal. <laughs> Feels a bit surreal, really. Can you see? Yeah, I can see it. Oh my god, it was weird. I recognise myself. It's crazy. <laughs> I walked over to the monitor and just, you know, I've never seen myself look like this before. I was like, who's that girl? Who who is that? With the lips, it's like it's um easy to look pouty because they're so drawn. I'm actually leaving in a week to go and film a movie in Pittsburgh called The Perks of Being a Wallflower, which I'm really excited about. It's it's a big departure for me from, from Potter. You know, I've been playing the same role for 10 years, so it's a really exciting time for me. There's no more Harry Potter, so she's going to enter a new phase in her life, which I think is so exciting for the magazine as well. Thank you, darling. It's kind of a crazy time for me. I'm kind of rediscovering what it means to be an actress. And this is just the start.